Hi guys. So let's start with the question of the day. The question goes like: Morphological features of celiac disease includes all except a increase in intraepithelial lymphocytes, b increase in crip to villus villi ratio, c distended macrophages with pass positive granules in lamina propria, or d elongated hyperplastic and torturous crypts. So let's. start with this celiac disease what is celiac disease cel- or celiac spru or it is also known as gluten sensitive enteropathy why gluten sensitive because in in foods like bro that is barley rye oat and wheat we have gluten or alpha gliadin which is a alcohol soluble fraction alpha gliadin which some people are allergic to so here both this is a pyq both cd4 and cd8 cells are involved which hla are involved hla dq2 and dq8 it affects distal duodenum and proximal jejunum what are the clinical features as it is affecting duodenum and jejunum so there will be malabsorption steatorrhea at the as the fat soluble vitamins will not be absorbed there will be anemia because iron is not being in, uh, absorbed so there is decrease hemoglobin short stature is present and there is increased risk of fractures also it can also cause dermatitis herpetiformis i want you to all comment what is the drug of choice for dermatitis herpetiformis and this is a pyq and comes very often in your exams or in in gts also it causes increase in t cell lymphoma as both cd8 and cd4 cells are involved so in serology most sensitive is iga anti tissue transglutaminase and most specific is anti endomycel so this is a this is a clip it from uh, first aid i used to study from that so celiac disease it is type 4 hypersensitivity it is the most common cause of diarrhea in developed countries it causes t cell lymphoma adenocarcinoma risk all this you have no just see this pictures one so what is the histology This is not normal. This is the healthy villus. In in celiac disease, there is villus atrophy, but crypts hyperplasia occurs. So this means the crypt is increasing, but the villi are decreasing. But the mucosal thickness still remains the same as the crypts hyperplasia is occurring. So this is very important, and there is increased intraepithelial lymphocytosis. So this is a this is about something about celiac disease. So yes, there is increase in intraepithelial lymphocytes. Yes, increase crypt to villus ratio. Definitely, crypt hyperplasia occurs and villus atrophy is occur. Hyperplastic and torturous crypts. Yes. So what what is the C option? The answer will definitely be C because we have not discussed about any past positive granules and lamina propria. So what is this? What are the what is this feature of? This is feature of Whipple's disease. and also yeah i want to discuss about marsh classification because i think one liner question can also be asked from this marsh classification is used for which disease it is used for celiac disease so in marsh 0 which is normal you have healthy mucosa long villi and short crypts in marsh 1 where we are suspect celiac disease so there you can see lymphocytes are being aggregated in marsh 2 there are elongated crypts and in marsh 3 there are villus atrophy is also present but the mucosal thickness it remains the same so for celiac disease to occurs there should be three things which should be positive first there should be some clinical documentation of malabsorption second there should be demonstration of small intestine lesion by biopsy and third when bro bro that is barley rye o wheat rye oat and wheat are taken away from the diet of the patient there is improvement in the clinical features and the mucosal histology also improves so this is about celiac disease now let's study about of the c option that is whipple's disease i used to learn it by a mnemonic pass the foamy whipped corn in small can i know it is cream in in first aid it is cream but i used to learn it like corn i will tell you why first pass why pass because it is pass positive diastase resistant granules are present 
फोमी विप्ड कॉर्न वाई कॉर्न बिकॉज ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज कॉड ट्राई मॉक्सोल सो कॉर्न को ट्राई मॉक्सोल इट हेल्प्स यू टू रिमेंबर इट ईजीली स्मॉल वाई बिकॉज स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज इन्वॉल्व एंड कैन वॉट आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स कार्डियक सिम्टम्स आर्थरालजिया एंड न्यूरोलॉजिकल सिम्टम्स आर प्रेजेंट विच ऑर्गेनिज्म इज इन्वॉल्व ट्रिफोनिमा वेला इज इन्वॉल्व इन्वॉल्व हेयर इट इम्पेयर्स द लिम्फैटिक ट्रांसपोर्ट सो यू कैन सी अबंडेड मैक्रोफैजिस फोमी मैक्रोफैजिस इन विपल्स डिजीज ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज कोट्रामोक्सोल जस्ट लर्न इड बाई अ वेरी इजी निमोनिक पास द फोमी विप्ड कॉर्न इन स्मॉल कैन वेरी इजी इन द मैक्रोफैजिस विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द लैमिन ऑफ प्रॉपिया देर विल बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ पास पॉजिटिव डाइस्टेज रेजिस्टेंट ग्रैन्यूल्स एंड रॉड शेप्ड बैक्टीरिया कैन ऑल्सो बी सीन बट ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोपी एंड द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स विल रिमेन सेम ऑफ दैट इज ऑफ माल ऑब्जॉर्प्शन एंड यू हैव टू टेल मी द आंसर ऑफ ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर डर्माटाइटिस हर्पिटिफॉर्मिस सो येस इन दिस क्वेश्चन मॉर्फोलॉजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ सीलियक डिजीज इंक्लूड्स ऑल एक्सेप्ट सो आंसर इज सी वाई इट इज सी बिकॉज पास पॉजिटिव ग्रैन्यूल्स एंड लैमिना प्रॉपियर इट इज ऑफ विपल्स डिजीज Now I also want you. I have also discussed the question. What is Whipple's triad? So please let me know about Whipple's triad also. Whipple's disease, Whipple's triad, and drug of choice of dermatitis herpetiformis. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow with another question. Thank you.